Alright, so just so you guys know, I did already upload a Ryobi Link video. I deleted it. I wasn't too comfortable with doing that type of a video. I'm going to go towards a completely different approach. Alright, so I just want to let you guys know, when I'm in these conference calls with these tool brands, I ask hard questions and I try my best to get answers. I have zero issues talking about other brands with a tool company, all right? A company just found that out a, a couple days ago, but I have zero issues. When I was on the conference call with Ryobi about this link system and all the details and information that they had and they shared with me, I asked some pretty tough questions, okay? And I tried my best to get an answer. They either didn't know the answer or they refused to answer it. All right, one of the things that I asked, uh, they had the portable storage units right next to them, okay? So I asked one of them to stand on it. All right, I'm 216 pounds because the information I'm trying to get, which the most important is how durable are these? They're impact rated and they have, they have some pretty decent specs, but if the rolling storage unit is flimsy, like if you take two, two sides and twist it like this, will it bend? Because the Milwaukee Packout stuff does not do that. All right, so, and these, if these were cheaper, I wouldn't make this video, but these are actually up with DeWalt's prices. These Ryobi Link portable storage unit prices are sort of up there with DeWalt Tough System 2.0, and that is a tough system. Like I say in many videos, these are real people's money, and I'm just giving you the information that I took in from Ryobi and the lack of information that from Ryobi. All right, so like I said, I did ask them to stand on one of the units that they refused to, and the reason why I asked that because I use my Milwaukee Packout stuff for like a, a step, uh, for a step all the time. If I need to reach something, I have no issue standing on them, and I'm 216 pounds to reach something. All right, this is the extra large unit, zero issue. Zero issue. I'm more worried about toppling over because I don't want to misplace my foot and fall down, but I am not worried about this caving in on me at all. Zero. Ryobi is saying that these are contractor grade portable storage units. I guarantee you contractors are not gonna treat them like the DIYer would. They just put it on the wall, leave it for a while, then use it whenever they need to. If they're promoting these to be contractor grade, they need to act contractor grade like the Milwaukee Packout is, which one thing that I do love is I love the wall unit stuff. It is expensive though. The cost for these wall units are pretty expensive. I originally thought that each panel was gonna be about $10. Making a little wall is not gonna be cheap. It's not. After thinking about it for a while, watching my video and a few others, these are actually pretty expensive units. Because now you're talking about DeWalt prices and not Ryobi prices. That's the prices that they made, but we'll find out when we get them because I am going to buy these. I am not going to accept any of this stuff for free. I want to test the crap out of this stuff and see on how durable they are. Because I am going to do uh, to the Ryobi portable storage unit that I just did to this pack out. Uh, I am going to do that. And this is a, it's the extra large pack out, so there's a lot of space and a lot of wall, you know, to have the structure integrity weaken a little bit. And I'm 260 pounds and it did it. But, all right, but I am gonna get the, those portable storage units and we're gonna test the crap out of them and see if they actually are legit or not. And one thing I will say is these, the portable storage units hanging up on the wall doesn't seem like it's, uh, would be a really good idea. It, it looks cool, but you know, if you're having this stuff that's on the bottom and you're having it vertical, and it's a flat against the wall with the base, with the bottom to the wall, everything that you have is just gonna fall, you know, gravity is gonna take over. You know, it needs to be a storage system to the wall like the Milwaukee Packout has and the DeWalt Tough System 2.0 has. It needs to be flat like this with the wall right here. You know, like having the base, having the bottom of the unit on the wall is everything's just going to fall forward but i did get some interesting information the you can totally customize the inside that's what the little uh, diamond shapes are on the bottom of the cases and you can actually customize stuff in there to where 
you could have uh, like little walls, I guess. All right, so let's watch the video really quick. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave and Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.